Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, today we've got the last one of the two you knives that our really good friend Dave Warren sent in to us. And this one also happens to be designed by Dave himself. Very cool. This is the Wrath version 2. Now this is going to be the drop point version. Uh, there's a Tanto version as well. But uh, like all of the other two you knives I have had in here, the overall construction is done very, very well. Tuya has done a really good job with putting these knives together. Now, you will know that I have kind of, I've critiqued Tuya on their relief cuts here, the milling, that, you know, in a lot of them, it, it probably wouldn't hurt to be just buffed a little bit. This one, not bad, but... It, I, we're back to, it, it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt. And I'm telling you, when I when I talk about stuff like that, I'm digging. And, and what I mean by digging is, you know, the knife as a whole is done so well that it takes little nitpicks like that to find something even remotely towards the, hey, could you maybe try to improve that? You know, I want. I don't want to say negative because, well, I mean, it is on the negative side because you're kind of being critical, but it's it's still digging. <laughs> In my opinion, it's digging. Overall, fit and finish is done very well. The centering, I mean, it, that looks like it's on point to me. But fit and finish again, excellent. You do have, you know, obviously you're looking at titanium here titanium backspacer clip you got a single single screw clip now i have not tried to reverse it and from what i understand it's not reversible so anybody out there knows anything different please feel free to let me know always always looking for helpful information that's what we're here to talk about now you do have a lanyard hole as well so the lanyard fans might be happy. Lefties, I'm not so sure. <laughs> but yeah, overall fit, finish, make. Um, I did notice the one spot on these right here. Kind of the same as right here. Just a little extra touch. I mean, it's not bad, but it is kind of sticky. And you know, the more you do it, duh, but... The more you do it, the more it, it it could be turned down just a little bit. There's the chunk out of my thumb. That's healing well. Um, get that out of there so you don't look at that. But, you know, it, it's a sticky point. Not sharp, but if you do it over and over and over, yeah, it's going to probably get a, a little annoying. Now, dual thumb studs, front flipper, detent, very nice. And it's a dropper, be careful. Yeah, detent is very well done for both. I mean, you're looking at the front of the knife, so that makes stands to reason. I can, oh yeah, first time out. I can reverse flick it. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, um, the stickiness that I was mentioning before on that thumb stud actually aids me in being able to reverse flick it. Because it does kind of grab on. Let's see here. Not back there, but see right there? It does aid my fingernail being able to grab on. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. I mean, you can see with my... I mean, it makes a mark in my fingernail. So it is a little sticky. But it does help on the reverse flick. So maybe turn this one down. <laughs> well, I mean, then our left-handed friends will be like, hey, come on now. So, but yeah. So... It's got its advantages and its disadvantages. We'll just say that. But overall, action, detent, done really, really well. Now, obviously, you can see. Now, Tuya likes those compound grinds. They definitely, definitely do. But as you can see, it's kind of a faux compound. I mean, it is a compound grind. You've got a hollow and a flat. But you can see that doesn't extend down into your blade edge. Now I've had somebody comment recently that well if you're going to do it you should do it and drag it down into the edge as well. Me personally, I don't 
I don't agree with that necessarily. I, I like a nice smooth edge. I don't like having to adjust when I sharpen. It just takes a little bit longer. And if I can sharpen an edge, nice, clean, go through, that makes me very, very happy. Now, let's look at our, our thumb studs. Definitely out of the cutting path like that. Our choil is nice and big enough for that. Is it big enough to choke up on? I, I probably won't. <laughs> if you want to, be careful. But I definitely probably wouldn't because I'm right on the heel of that blade. But a nice S90V blade. There you go. To your logo there. Where does it say that? There's DW for Dave Warren. S90V right there. Overall, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So let's get... Oh, let's do the spec checks. So... Spec checks, you're looking at nearly an eight inch knife. It's about seven and three quarters, maybe just a little shy. Your handle length, you're looking at four and mm, 4.35 maybe, just a little up in between there. And then your blade length, you're looking at about three, 3.3, 3.35-ish in there. Cutting edge, uh, hitting right at that three inch mark. And then your grip length, you're going to come in at right about three and a half, maybe just a hair over. So as you can see, I do have just, just a tiny bit left over in my grip. So let's see here. Let's do our size comparisons. Let's get those out, out of the way. There's our bug out. So obviously it's a little bit larger than the bug out. And the PM2 right here. Slide them back a little bit. There we go. So the PM2 is going to be just a little bit larger overall. Again, we'll get a weight on it. Start out in grams. So 119, a little bit of weight, nothing too major. 4.2 ounces, no, nothing wrong with that. And now we will check our carry. Now this is the other part that I've kind of talked about to you a little bit. Uh, it goes in the pocket fairly well. Now this one, this one bottoms out nicely. And, you know, some of the two years I've had have, you know, it really kind of spreads the the pocket clip out because they're so shallow this one's not bad it's not bad at all it's a little bit uh leaner of a clip good retention on that uh, edge of the pocket seam of the pocket there you go but you know those shallow titanium clips sometimes they are a little bit more snug but that one's pretty nice to be perfectly honest with you so overall um now you know i usually say i'm not a big fan of compound grinds now, with the way this one is, where the compound doesn't go down into the blade edge, I definitely don't mind that as much. Uh, the Wrath is a really good looking knife. Dave's got a very good design on his hands here. I mean, like, we've already talked about fit, finish. I mean, lock up, solid as all get out. Ergonomically, oh, very nice. Feels very good in hand. Uh, the clip, not an issue, like I said. Uh, that low low profile clip helps in that for sure. So you got pros and cons all around. You know, the only thing I am going to say about the Wrath, and it's something I've said about pretty much all the two-year knives, is that little extra touch around the relief cuts would be a, you know, it'd be a nice touch. And then for this one, just around the thumb studs, they're a little sticky as well. Like I said, it really does aid in my reverse flick. If they were buffed out, I don't know if I could reverse flick it. I'll be perfectly honest with you. But that definitely helps out overall. Two is doing an excellent job with their knives. Now, this guy right here, um, well, depends on which one you get. They're going to be between 269 and 279 depending on which version you get. And I'll leave you some links down in the description. You guys feel free to go down there, check them out see the different versions but yeah overall so well done i 
Very nice design, Dave. Greatly appreciate you sending all these knives out to check out. Thank you so much. As always, guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out what I have to offer you on a daily basis. I really, really appreciate it. So thanks a lot, guys. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye, guys.